Hello and welcome to the Abundology Podcast. My name is Renee Spears and I'm a spirit guide channeler and spiritual life and business mentor and I help people be happy and attract more money, love, time, and joy in their lives. I'm coming to you from a very, very chilly Bozeman, Montana, and this is the weekly energy update for the week of January 29th, 2023. Every Sunday, I talk about how the energy is going to be for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And for what feels like the first time in forever, we're starting a month with no retrogrades. January got off to a rocky start with Mercury, Mars, and Uranus in retrograde. And now that all the planets are direct and everything is a bit clearer, this is the time to think about where you want to go and who you want to be. And we start off these three months of magical forward movement with Venus and Pisces. It's the perfect way to start. So last week on Thursday the 26th, Venus moved into Pisces and it stays there for the next three weeks until February 19th. So Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and luxury, is in its happy place when it's in Pisces, meaning it's extra powerful during this time. And what this means for us is that over the next few weeks, we'll be feeling more like playing, falling in love, hanging out with friends, and just plain old having fun. This is our time to replenish our inspiration and our joy, the joy of being alive again. And this is actually the last really nice Venus and Pisces we get until 2026, because the next few will be tamped down by that bitch Saturn. So that means it's time to go hard on beauty, luxury, and romance. And these next three weeks are peak Venus, and we want to enjoy this lovely energy. So this is the time to go all in on beauty and luxury. The energy supports us to beautify our lives. And this includes our homes, our bodies, our wardrobes. Perfect time for a haircut and to spruce up your image. And to fully embrace luxury. Luxury doesn't need to be expensive or cost a lot of money. Luxury has nothing to do with the amount of money you're spending and everything to do with the way you feel. It isn't the item or the place that makes luxury. It's our feelings about it. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to have those same feelings. So think about some of the most luxurious moments in your life. What did they all have in common? (laughs) I'm guessing that for many of them, it was about feeling comfortable. Luxury is largely about comfort. And because comfort is also entirely subjective, it looks different for everyone. We think, like other things in life, that if we work really, really hard, that maybe someday, sometime in the future, we can experience a life of luxury. But there's no need to wait. I feel like my life is so luxurious now, even though I make much less money than I used to. I've realized my happiness and joy are about how I feel about my life and not how much money I make or have in the bank. I have more free time now. Free time feels luxurious. A slow life also feels luxurious. Think of those little moments that you rush through but really bring you joy. Maybe your cup of coffee in the morning, your evening walk with the dog, playing with your kids, sitting down to dinner with some good girlfriends or your family. These everyday moments that we often hurry through can feel more luxurious than anything that costs money. These are the best luxuries of life. A decluttered home also feels luxurious. You know, nice hotels feel so luxurious because they're clean and they're clear of clutter. So when your environment is clutter-free, you feel more relaxed, less stressed, and better able to focus on and recognize the good things happening. The little comforts of life create the feeling of a luxurious lifestyle. I mean, that can just be a few candles, a face mask, a bubble bath, time to read a book or take a nap. So the energy right now is perfect to focus on luxury and finding ways to incorporate it into your everyday life. And really to realize that you don't have to wait until you have a million dollars in the bank to feel that way. So we're focusing on beauty, luxury, and love. This February is peak Venus time. We have not had a month of love like this in a long time. 
It's truly a month of love. And even if you aren't partnered up, find ways to add romance to your life with some fresh flowers, maybe watching some rom-coms, reading romance novels, maybe a love song playlist. So make plans for your Valentine's Day now. Single or partnered, you are making this Valentine's Day fabulous. And yes, Venus wants to bring love and romance, but its overriding influence is to establish harmony. It's all about harmony. And this is the time to smooth any rough edges with your family, your friends, your coworkers. Smooth them over. Make up. <laughs> it's time to move forward with those relationships. And it's time to heal. To heal relationships and yourself. And then, just like that, on Wednesday, February is here. So according to numerology, February 2023 is a nine universal month. This month's energy holds very valuable lessons about letting go. So nine is the last number in the numerology cycle, and it always brings closure. And its purpose is to free you, to free up your time, your attention, and your energy so that you can focus on the true purpose of your life. And as we've talked about before, we have three months of forward energy. And letting go of what is holding you back is essential right now. That's step number one. This is the time to cut cords with anything and everything holding you back. This can include your thoughts and your beliefs, relationships, work projects that aren't going anywhere, people that don't get you, anything that your heart isn't into. So everything holding you back will be exiting your life one way or another. So you can consciously let it go or the universe will do it for you, which may be a little bit more abrupt. And some work may be involved. I mean, if there's a string of loose ends that you need to tie up, like paperwork, unkept promises, even clutter, then use this time to clean that shizzle up. Do the work to free yourself up. This is powerful ending time so that we can move full speed ahead with nothing, nothing holding us back. February is our opportunity to reboot our lives. So think about how do you want to create yourself? How do you want your life to be? We're in a time of new beginnings when anything is possible. And love is in the air. This is the month of love. So February is the perfect time to be intentional with what you're manifesting in your love life. Go all in on love. Let the person know you've been crushing on them. Make romantic plans. And if you decide this is the time to get serious about finding love, I'm using the powerful love energy this month to attract love with my next and my final calling in the one women's circle. I won't be doing it again. So this circle is nine weeks and we are amplifying our manifesting energy by doing it together. So if you want this to finally be the year you attract love, please join us. I will put a link in the show notes and you can find more info on my um, website, abundology.com. And one more thing to mention, I've been in business for almost four years now, and it's finally time to raise my prices slightly starting on February 1st. So just make sure to pack to purchase any packages or gift certificates for yourself to use in the future to save some money now. So as always, Thank you for listening and passing this podcast on to a friend you think may find value in it. Have a luxurious, lovely week, and I will talk to you again next week.